Welcome Jamf Nation to our virtual spring event, a follow-up to last fall's Jamf Nation user conference, providing you an exclusive look at the progress we've made developing product features that we announced at JNUT, as well as some exciting new and planned capabilities that will help you simplify work with Apple. Over the next 45 minutes or so, we will walk through how Jamf's comprehensive management and security platform helps you deploy Apple devices that your team members love and your organization trusts, ensuring that neither individual production or organizational protection is ever disrupted or compromised. Productivity and protection are the two essential outcomes that we all seek to stay competitive, be our best, and achieve success especially during challenging economic times. We are all being asked to do more with less these days. Fortunately, Jamf and Apple can help you do just that. By now, you are probably aware of the case studies and research reports that show the total cost of ownership and return on investment advantages of Apple, and in particular, Mac. Higher quality, faster performing, and more efficient technology leads to longer shelf life and substantial savings and support time, money, and resources. But most importantly, people are choosing to use technology at work that helps them be their most creative, productive, and happy, which just happens to be the same technology they use in their personal lives. Most often, Apple. Over the past year, Mac, iPad, and iPhone all experienced substantial gains in market share worldwide, as more and more people embrace using the same technology as both a consumer and as a worker, whether their employer provides a choose-your-own-device program or as part of a bring-your-own-device initiative. In either case, Jamf offers the right balance of simplicity, privacy, and security. And with Work From Anywhere models here to stay, empowering users to help themselves, and empowering IT and InfoSec teams to serve their customers without ever needing to physically touch devices has never been more important. As I've said many times, we at Jamf bridged the gap between the great innovations at Apple and what businesses and schools require. We have always been Apple first, but as you will see today, after establishing the foundation and support for new Apple workflows, Jamf is broadening the reach of several of our products for institutions that may not be Apple exclusive. Nowhere is this more evident than in education. To tell you more about Jamf in school, here is Sam Johnson. Thank you, Dean. Now, many strive to be Apple first and Apple best but few, if any, truly succeed in creating experiences that take full advantage of everything Apple devices have to offer. And while we've made tremendous progress in both one-to-one -one and shared device deployments in the past few years, the job is still not done, specifically when it comes to creating a uniform and equitable layer of protection for students. Fortunately, JamSafe Internet, released in 2022, significantly closes this gap for all educational institutions. Now, if you're new or just unaware, Jamf Safe Internet is our best-in-class web content filtering and threat prevention solution that is tailor-made for education. It ensures students can navigate the wonders and power of the internet without fear or hesitation that they're outside the boundaries of acceptable use. And better yet, admins find Jamf Safe Internet a dream to deploy to their devices. The reception of Jamf Safe Internet has been overwhelming with more than 500 schools already adopting and leveraging it to ensure students stay safe and focused at the task at hand. But even Jamf understands that not every student, teacher, or school gets to choose just Apple. In some cases, we see schools use a mix of iPads, MacBooks, and other platforms for students. Well, we of course want all of these learners to be just as protected. That's why earlier this year, we brought Jamf Safe Internet to Chromebook. Similar to how Jamf Safe Internet works on Apple devices, our Chromebook solution employs a protection over inspection approach to protect students from harmful content without ever invading their privacy. Featuring a comprehensive content filtering database, which is customizable to fit your need, Jamf Safe Internet is built on a lightweight DNS technology, so it will never bog down devices and allows students to keep the pace of learning and exactly where educators need them to be. Here's how it works. With Jamf Safe Internet, you can deploy it to any of your Chromebooks the same way that you're used to deploying any other profile type. 
And from our simple portal, you can configure web content filtering exactly how you see fit, prohibiting access with a category-based content filtering. It's really that easy. Jamsafe Internet also makes it easy to create reports to better understand policies being administered. It can also enforce YouTube restricted mode and Google Safe Search to hide mature content from ever appearing in search results. And best of all, Jamf and Google for Education now work together as Jamsafe Internet can be deployed directly from the Google Admin Council, the same council that many admins use to manage their entire Chromebook estate. But we didn't stop at Chromebooks. We are thrilled to announce that this summer, we are adding support for Windows PCs. Yes, you heard that right, Windows. Just like iPads and Chromebooks, the service can be zero touch deployed with Microsoft Intune or any other package manager you may choose. Now, no matter what technology your school chooses in addition to Apple, Jamf ensures that the student sitting in front of it is protected from accessing dangerous or distracting content and learning stays at the forefront of the technology experience. I know, it's exciting times for every education admin out there. Now, even as we're offering support for multiple platforms, when it comes to securing the users, I want to bring us back home and assure you that Apple will always be our first priority, and we will continue to bring you the best experience for that platform. To prove that, we are improving our Jamsafe internet privacy protections by adding on-device web content filtering specifically built for Apple. This on-device filtering capability further bolsters the existing solution to deliver an Apple-best native end-user experience for those who use Apple products. Jamf has built this advanced solution upon Apple's privacy-first content filter framework to perform comprehensive on-device web content filtering. Admins will be able to filter content granularly, including by IP address, full URL, protocol, and even by iOS and iPadOS app. Policies are evaluated and acted upon on device with a sandbox architecture, meaning neither Jamf nor Apple services can ever obtain or report upon private encrypted content. That means you'll no longer need to send troves of data to your cloud infrastructure. It'll improve performance, while saving a lot of money and time in the process. And most important, on-device means it's lightning fast, which obviously provides a superior end-user experience. On-device web content filtering will be available for iPad OS and iOS devices this summer, with Mac OS following later this year. Last, some institutions, particularly in higher education, can use Jamf Safe Internet alongside Jamf Protect to give them unparalleled on-device and network security. This would totally complete the picture of a unified endpoint protection, threat defense, and content filtering solution. Using just Jamf, you can be assured your schools are managed and secured completely. Now with all this talk about securely and privately filtering and blocking access, you may be wondering, how do I do the opposite and empower trusted users with a simple and secure access to the resources that they need to do their job? To tell you more about an extremely simple yet sophisticated way of providing access to your employees, here's Kayla Flanders. Thank you, Sam. Identity and access management is a suite of technologies that are intended to provide secure logins and access to apps and resources but many organizations struggle to actually simplify the end user experience when it comes to getting work done. In many cases, users are repeatedly signing into apps throughout the day or getting kicked out of their active sessions. There has to be a better way. And there is with Jamf Connect to streamline and create a simpler, more secure access experience. Many of you know Jamf Connect for its ability to provision local macOS accounts using your cloud identity provider. In fact, over 7,000 organizations have chosen Jamf Connect to simplify their provisioning, account management, and authentication for Mac users. Whether you're one of our value Jamf Connect customers or not, I have great news for you. Jamf Connect just got a whole lot better. We're excited to announce that the new Jamf Connect now includes the zero trust network access capability, formerly offered by Private Access, delivering a complete user-first identity and access management solution for all Apple devices, including Mac, iPad, and iPhones, and more. 
Jam Connect and its Zero Trust Network Access Framework enables remote access from anywhere, while eliminating all the friction and frustrations associated with traditional VPN. And unlike VPN, where remote users are typically granted broad access to the organization's internal network, Jam Connect enables narrow access to only the specific apps and resources a user needs for their role, no matter if that app is on-premise or in the cloud, dramatically improving data security. And if that's not enough, we have a really exciting feature that will be coming soon. We're integrating Jamf Connect's out-of-the-box macOS account provisioning experience with our Jamf networking agent, Jamf Trust, to automatically activate ZTNA networking by the time the user finishes within the macOS setup assistant. This means that through a single login, which can include multi-factor authentication, a user's local macOS account with cloud identity credentials is created, and their network access is ready to go for instant connectivity to the apps they need to be productive. This eliminates the manual process of a user having to find, log into, and activate their VPN app. On the subject of seamless logins, we've been talking about the promise of single sign-on for Apple devices for years. Last year at WWDC, Apple took a major step to deliver on this promise for macOS, iOS, and iPadOS in the form of platform SSO and enrollment SSO. But we can't deliver on these capabilities alone. So we've teamed up with Okta to deliver the future of identity on Apple devices that users and IT admins alike are going to love. To tell you more is Okta's Alvina Antar and Jamf's Lynn Lam. Hello, I'm Lynn Lam, CIO at Jamf. And I'm Alvina Antar, CIO at Okta. Last year at JNUC 2022, you heard our CEO, Todd McKinnon, talk about the unique opportunity for Jamf and Okta to work on first-to-market support for Apple's new platform single sign-on and enrollment single sign-on technologies. These exciting new platform capabilities for macOS, iOS, and iPadOS bring the legendary user experience of the Apple platform to the front doorstep of a secure enterprise employee experience. That's the exact opportunity we've been able to work on together. Bridging the gap between security and user experience is something that Jamf has always been passionate about. Now, with Okta, we've had the unique opportunity to work in tandem on that effort to make a truly best-of-breed solution from endpoint to identity on the Apple platform. Throughout the past six months, our teams have been working hard to build support together for these Apple native technologies. And even more exciting is that we're near completion of that work. We'll tell you more about that in just a moment. On that note, I'm excited to introduce you to Matt Vlasic, VP of Security Product at Jamf, and Jamie Fitzgerald, Senior Director of Devices and Security Product at Okta. Matt and Jamie are two key members of our product and engineering efforts around this release, who will walk you through a guided demo of these great new workflows. This update today is just the beginning. We're working on a lot of other exciting things that we can't wait to tell you about in the future. But for now, enjoy the demo. Over to you, Matt and Jamie. Thank you, Alvina and Lynn. I'm Matt. And I'm Jamie. And we're really excited to walk you guys through a demo of some of the products we've been working on, specifically Platform SSO and Enrollment SSO. When Apple announced Platform SSO in macOS Ventura last year, we knew it was going to be a big deal and our customers would expect us to support it. We couldn't do it alone. MDM is only half the equation and we needed a nimble IDP partner to deliver that other half. For that, Okta was the obvious choice given their commitment to Apple and single sign-on extension. Together, we started to work to enable our customers with a native macOS login and password sync experience using Platform SSO, while leaning on Jamf Connect to provide shared customers with advanced local account provisioning workflows. It all starts when an employee opens their new Mac for the first time. Zero Touch Deployment automatically enrolls organization-owned devices into your MDM solution. This means IT doesn't have to physically touch devices to provision them before giving them to end users. As part of the MDM enrollment process, users are prompted to log in with their Okta credentials. This prevents an unauthorized user from being able to set up the newly received device. The enrollment customization flow can even support multi-factor authentication, adding another layer of security before the device may be used. 
During the setup assistant process, and thanks to Jamf Pro's integration with enrollment customization, the authenticated user's account name is pre-filled and the user creates a new local account using a password of their choosing. The password will be updated by platform single sign-on later in the process. Note that when used with Jamf Connect, there are additional account provisioning options available. Once Setup Assistant is finished setting up the user's account, they land on their desktop. OctaVerify has been installed silently in the background, and the user is prompted to register this device for platform single sign-on. To show that, I'm going to pass this back over to Jamie, who's going to walk us through the OctaVerify registration process. Now, the process starts when the end user receives a notification to begin the enrollment process for Platform SSO. OctaVerify is foregrounded, and the authentication process for enrollment begins. The user will provide their username and authenticate with their password to get FastPass set up and going. Once they've been verified, they can move on to the second part of the flow, which is synchronizing their passwords. In order to sync the password from the IDP to the desktop, the user must authenticate to the device with the local device password. And the process is completed once the user provides their Okta password to complete the sync. Once this is done, platform SSO has been completely set up. Let's walk through a day in the life of a user once they have platform SSO enabled and enrolled. First, the user will log into the device with their Okta password or simply use Touch ID or unlock with Apple Watch. Once they unlock, they're probably going to want to get to a normal site like their internal intranet. Note, they're immediately prompted for biometrics, and no other login is necessary. From here, we're going to walk you through an enrollment flow with Mac Mail. You'll notice it is just as simple and seamless as accessing their corporate website. And after this, they're set up and ready to be productive. The power of platform SSO on full display. If you haven't tried user enrollment in your organization for your BYO devices, you should. At Jamf, we believe it strikes the right balance between security, management, and privacy in a way that has not been possible through traditional BYO approaches. My own personal iPhone is user enrolled, giving me the apps and access I need for my work while knowing that my personal activity stays private. And now with Enrollment SSO, onboarding into user enrollment requires me to only have to authenticate with my credentials once. And then all subsequent logins to my work apps is simply a matter of a face ID scan. I no longer have to type in my Okta password, uh, utilize a password manager, enter one-time codes, or respond to push notifications on my mobile device. And for security admins, this more convenient login method is also significantly more secure. Here is what your users will see. First, users are instructed to navigate to Settings, General, VPN and Device Management, Sign in with Work or School Account. The user types in their work or school email address, and the user is prompted to enable remote management on their device. The prompt that appears clearly indicates the management limits available to administrators on the user's device. Next, OctaVerify is installed automatically from the App Store. Note that this installation does not require or use the user's personal Apple ID. Now we are starting to authenticate with Jamf Pro. The user taps Sign In with Okta FastPass, and the Okta Verify app is launched. We're going to add a new account and sign in using our Okta credentials. The user types in their username and then their password. And if required, they can provide multi-factor authentication response. From there, their identity is verified. And they finish setting up the Okta Verify app, including enabling Face ID for use with the single sign-on extension. Now, the user returns to the Jamf Pro login process, which completes silently thanks to Okta's single sign-on extension. Next, the user creates a managed Apple ID, which is facilitated using federated authentication and the user's Okta credentials. Again, thanks to FastPass and single sign-on extension, the managed Apple ID is authenticated without having to log in again, simply using your face. 
With a few more taps, the user has completed user enrollment on their device. Now with the device enrolled, FastPass can do its magic. When the user browses to a corporate site, the user will be prompted to authenticate. And again, because the device is known to Okta and tied to the user, the user does not need to provide a username and instead is simply prompted to authenticate via Face ID. Now, this process also works with native mobile apps. In this case, we're going to try to sign in to Slack. The user is going to go through their normal flow, providing a workspace URL. And then they'll be asked to authenticate. And because of enrollment SSO, this authentication can leverage FastPass, which means, again, simply providing Face ID allows the sign-in process to Slack to be simple, smooth, and secure. Productivity has started, and they're off and running. And that's it. We're really excited to share what we've just shown with you today to the Jamf Nation and Jamf customers that we have shared with Okta. With that, back to you, Kayla. Thank you, Alvina, Lynn, Jamie, and Matt. We can't wait for you to experience this new, more seamless way of working, and we're excited for continued innovation with Okta and other identity providers in the future. Our new integration will be available for Jamf and Okta customers this summer. One more thing. We're also working to bring a simple and efficient experience beyond just the digital world. At JNUC, we demoed and unveiled a partnership with Swift Connect that places mobile ID cards and digital wallets making poorly secured, easily misplaced physical access cards a thing of the past. I'm pleased to announce that Jamf support for digital employee badges will be available via Swift Connect, powered by Jamf Trust starting today for iOS and coming soon for Android. Your future employee badging experiences can be best summed up with they're going to love it. At Jamf, our purpose is to simplify work. And we believe simplifying work starts with simplifying access for users. But that's only half the story. Here is Jen Kaplan to share how Jamf solutions also provide peace of mind for organizations who need trusted access. Thank you, Kayla. At JNUC this past fall, we introduced trusted access. At its core, the concept is simple. Trusted access combines and connects the best elements of device management, identity, and access workflows and endpoint security. With trusted access, your employees can be productive on the devices they love while your organization can trust every user, every device, and every connection made to work resources. We believe the best way to achieve this is when organizations choose Apple and Jamf. I'd like to tell you a bit more about how Jamf is uniquely positioned to help organizations at each stage of their journey. It all starts with enrollment, which is an important foundation for creating the best user experience. Enrollment is also a critical part of achieving the highest levels of security in your workplace. We are so excited about the upcoming enhancements to the BYOD employee experience, thanks to the new enrollment SSO workflow we've been working closely with Okta to deliver. We know the modern workforce is using a mix of company-owned and personally-owned devices. So providing a seamless and secure way for these users to access work resources on personal devices while preserving their privacy is paramount to success. It's also important to know exactly which trusted user is associated with each device. Not only does Jamf offer robust cloud identity provider integrations, but the upcoming platform SSO work will further streamline everything from enrollment to remote access, all powered by a user's single cloud identity. We also leverage the power of our identity integrations for added security with powerful conditional access controls across three of the industry's largest providers, Microsoft, Google, and Amazon. Our Microsoft device compliance integration allows organizations to extend access controls across the entire Azure Active Directory workflow, bringing powerful and granular access controls to company resources. Administrators are able to use this integration to define the specific Azure AD-enabled apps and services that may or may not be accessed given a device's current compliance state. To help keep devices compliant and to avoid interrupting an end user's productivity, Office 365 apps can automatically be deployed and patched by Jamf, while Jamf Pro's device compliance engine and Microsoft Sentinel help admins keep devices in compliance. Building on the momentum of our Microsoft partnership, Jamf Protect integrates with Microsoft Sentinel. 
This integration enables organizations to seamlessly monitor and protect their Mac fleet through the Microsoft Sentinel platform, providing a unified view of security events across all endpoints and facilitating a more effective response to threats. We're thrilled to have recently joined the Microsoft Intelligence Security Association based on our joint solution around JamProtect and Microsoft Sentinel. MISA is an ecosystem of independent software vendors and managed security service providers that have integrated their solutions with Microsoft security technology to better help customers defend themselves against increasingly sophisticated cyber threats. Jamf also integrates with Google Beyond Corp, Google's zero trust implementation, which uses Chrome to protect data in transit. Google Cloud receives compliance signals from Jamf to ensure protected access to resources. If a Jamf-managed macOS device were to ever become compromised or fall out of compliance, that Mac's access to beyond core protected resources is automatically blocked until the problem is remedied. We are pleased to announce that through continued partnership with Google, we have extended this same compliance and compromise protection to iOS and iPadOS devices. Leveraging Jamf's self-service app, users can now simply register their device and, if compliant, immediately start accessing their tools like Google Drive, Google Docs, and Gmail. Jamf is the only management or security platform that supports BeyondCorp across the entire Apple ecosystem. And finally, there's Jamf's AWS Verified Access integration for macOS. With AWS Verified Access, organizations using AWS and Jamf can verify that devices are managed and meet an acceptable risk threshold before providing access to AWS apps, instances, or workloads. With this integration, organizations that have embraced AWS can evolve beyond basic source IP-based access control strategies and can now define granular policies that apply per app, utilizing rich user and device contexts. This partnership delivers cloud-native zero-trust access with a seamless end-user experience for Jamf and AWS customers. This is an exciting integration, hot off the heels of our EC2 Mac capabilities we demonstrated at JNUC last year. And with Jamf in the AWS marketplace, customers can now leverage AWS credits towards Jamf solutions. One thing that each of these conditional access workflows has in common is an evaluation of the device's security posture. Jamf Protect is best known as a premier endpoint security solution for the Mac, and it plays an important role in these conditional access workflows. Last fall, we brought a major advancement to macOS endpoint visibility with the addition of telemetry to Jamf Protect. Earlier this year, we also expanded Jamf Protect to include mobile threat defense capabilities to secure mobile devices as well. Now, everything from stopping the latest malware on your Macs to defending your entire Mac and mobile fleet from web threats such as phishing attacks or ransomware can be achieved with Jamf Protect. According to our recently released Security 360 report for 2022, 31% of organizations had at least one user fall victim to a phishing attack. These device-wide protections come at exactly the right time, helping organizations prevent these growing threats from facing users. Zero Trust Access is a concept or philosophy that is simultaneously very exciting and very ambiguous. So let's start from a place of common understanding, conditional access. As I mentioned earlier, Jamf offers three powerful conditional access integrations that allow organizations to take a zero trust approach to security. Each solution provides a different policy engine that uses different inputs and signals to make a determination about each authentication request. This is a great step towards securing company data and something we'd recommend all Jamf customers take advantage of. However, there is one security challenge where conditional access workflows traditionally fall short. See, conditional access solutions typically evaluate the user, device, and risk at the time a user logs in. That could be when an employee sets up their email client or when they log into an application like Salesforce. Unfortunately, the nature of the modern threat landscape is relentless and a device that is deemed secure one minute may be compromised the next. Conditional access solutions aren't well equipped to respond to the dynamic nature of these threats, leaving compromised devices connected to sensitive resources. 
That's where adding Jamf Connect's zero trust network access is so powerful. In addition to the protections that conditional access workflows offer for authentication events, Jamf's access policies dynamically react the minute that Jamf Protect detects a risk. That means Jamf is able to respond to threats in real time, stopping access to sensitive resources the minute a risk is detected by shutting down the user's secure connection. We are also introducing a new enhancement that allows Jamf to enforce secure access for work resources. It's not enough that conditional access and Jamf Connect secure the authentication access to work resources initially. We need to ensure that employees are always using a secure connection, even with their ongoing use of work apps. Our new secure access enforcement workflow can detect if a user ever disables their secure connection and immediately suspends their access. Jamf will send the user a push notification and even display a notification in the browser, letting them know that access to a particular resource requires a secure connection. We will even guide the user directly into Jamf Trust to re-enable the secure connection. Automatically guiding users to establish a secure connection is just one of the many ways that Jamf is empowering end users, reducing IT tickets, and enhancing productivity. In fact, that's our goal with Trusted Access. Make the entire work experience seamless for users without sacrificing security and building remediation right into the workflow to minimize their dependency on IT. We truly believe that we can give your users an experience they love while improving the overall security posture of your organization. Of course, we are always looking for new ways to further simplify the workflow for IT admins as well. To tell you more about what we have planned, here is Amy O'Connor. Thanks, Jen. Looking out for our IT admins has always been a priority for us. So let's dive into what we're doing to make your work lives a little easier now, starting with how excited we are with Apple's evolved MDM protocol, declarative device management. At JNUC 2022, we let you know that Jamf Pro added support for declarative device management for operating system changes. Apple continues to expand the use cases for declarative device management, and Jamf remains committed to supporting this next-gen protocol. Today, we're excited to let you know that we are extending that support to passcode compliance and supplemental build version for rapid security response. Organizations that utilize Apple technology via iOS and iPadOS devices deploy a number of configuration profiles to enact settings that are required for their security posture. Once those profiles are installed, they can leverage Jamf Pro Smart Group Logic to safely target additional security-sensitive profiles to install certificates or networking profiles that allow users to get their work done. Previously, in order to accomplish this, organizations that wanted this condition met needed to perform additional inventory updates via the API before a device entered their smart group. Or it's possible they may not have factored this into their deployments at all. Now, with declarative device management, the device will autonomously report its passcode compliance status once set, and the user will receive all of the rest of their needed profiles immediately afterwards, giving admins real-time visibility into their fleet. Supplemental build version is related to Apple's rapid security response updates, which is a new type of update meant to apply between minor OS releases. If you are concerned about zero-day exploit, and let's be real, we all are, Deploying these updates when available to your managed devices can easily be accomplished. What's more, the declarative device management status channel can now report the completed update status to Jamf Pro immediately after it's been applied, giving you peace of mind. As always, we're committed to same-day support with Apple, and as they continue to expand this new protocol, so will Jamf. And if you are embracing trusted access, this means faster automated access management to sensitive data resources without having to wait for a sync. I think we can all agree that being able to base trusted access off of action needed from Apple's rapid security responses sounds pretty next level. Coming soon, we will be adding support for managed device attestation in our MDM device information queries. Managed device attestation is a powerful new security feature introduced by Apple in iOS, iPadOS, and tvOS 16 last fall. This certification tool helps ensure that all MDM managed devices contain genuine Apple hardware and haven't been spoofed or otherwise compromised. Here's how it will integrate with Jamf Pro. Jamf Pro provides an additional queried parameter to a managed device via the MDM protocol. 
The device performs a check-in with Apple's attestation servers and ultimately returns a certificate that is signed by Apple that attests that the device is genuine. The certificate is validated by Jamf Pro and stored with other inventory data. The results will be shared with Jamf security tools and available for consumption in other third-party systems and tools via the Jamf Pro API. At JNUC last year, we talked about a new way we want to help admins support their teams and users who are working remotely. As many of you know, we have previously partnered with other software vendors to offer integrations which required an additional purchase. One of the largest JNUC ovations I've ever heard was when we previewed a new Jamf Pro feature that will allow admins to initiate a remote desktop session directly from within the browser, regardless of where your users are working. If you missed JNUC, let me show you a quick demo of how this works. From the management tab of this device record, you will see a remote administration option. From directly within Jamf Pro, you can start a screen sharing session regardless of where the Mac is located. There is no separate app to launch, which means you'll be able to support remote users from any modern web browser on a Mac, iPad, or PC. I'm very pleased to announce that this new remote assist capability will be coming this summer. Welcome to a new and better way to support your users wherever they work. But we're not done yet. We are also introducing an automated solution to create and manage unique local administrator passwords per each managed Mac with Jamf Pro. With the increasing risk of unauthorized access to sensitive data or systems, having unique local administrator passwords for each device is crucial to improving overall security if and when local account credentials are needed. With this solution, the password of a managed administrator account can be randomized at the time of enrollment. Access to the password can be restricted to specific users or groups, with audit logging in place to show who accessed the password and when. Once viewed by the authorized user, the password will be automatically rotated to a new randomized value. This automated approach allows organizations to maintain operational security, comply with regulations, and improve efficiency when working with an IT-managed administrator account. And last, but certainly not least, we've got some new things to share for app installers. App Installers, released in Jamf Pro last spring, gives you the ability to distribute and update available third-party macOS software titles, removing the need to manually monitor, package, and update apps, and streamlining the application lifecycle management process. To continue to deliver on this streamlined process, we've listened to your feedback and are addressing some of your most requested feature updates with new App Installer capabilities. Recently in Jamf Pro 10.44, we launched end user notifications, allowing you to notify users when an update is available for a software title deployed using app installers. And coming this summer, Jamf Pro will offer the option to distribute app installer titles via self-service and allow users to install when they are ready. Once a user installs the application, app installers will continue to keep that app title automatically up to date with the latest software version. We are so excited to bring these new features your way so we can help you help your users. And as always, Jamf is and will continue to be compatible with Apple's latest operating systems, so you and those you support can immediately take advantage of the latest and greatest for Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Now, back to Dean. Thanks, Amy. And thank you to all of our speakers today. To all of you in Jamf Nation, whether you're looking to empower students with technology while protecting them from the dangers of it, or deliver a simple yet trusted access experience to each and every employee you serve, Jamf is here to partner with you. Many of the Jamf platform capabilities we discussed today are available right now, and many more are on the horizon. We've designed these solutions to help you simplify work and ramp up productivity for your end users and for IT, while helping information security teams keep your organization safe. I encourage you all to give these new capabilities a try. We are so excited to hear what you think. For those watching today's event while attending the RSA conference in San Francisco this week, stop by the Jamf booth to learn more about our exciting new capabilities in person. For all of you, if you enjoyed today, you're gonna love JNUC 2023, which is both virtual and in person in Austin, Texas, September 19th through the 21st. We hope to see you there. In the meantime, we are here to help you leverage Jamf's enterprise secure, consumer simple technology to empower your teams and simplify work. Take care, Jamf Nation.